All right, YouTubers. Well, I'm supposed to be heading back up north already. I thought I had been up already on back on 95. But you get distracted. I did very well. I did a trade with uh, brought some stuff, and ironically, I've been trying to find. It's hard to find some of a bitch. Somebody had it. The box is ripped up, but it's in there. It is the Motor Master from the Legacy Wave. So I just got to pick up the rest of the figures. I think I need uh, two more to finish that off. Um, but yeah, guy had that, and uh, you know, thank thank goodness that. You know, nature called. I had to use the restroom. So that plus I had to do a deal with uh, Matt. So we did a cash and trade deal. I gave him my vision, my uh, envisionaries. And I also gave him the uh, the D&D &D stuff because I don't collect that stuff. I mean, I was I brought the stuff to collect, but I got too many toy lines. And being that just like just like with the Dino Riders. I decided to get rid of those as well because it's just it's too much stuff to I mean if I get a big decent significant amount somewhere for almost nothing or real cheap or whatever then I'll I'll say the hell with it but to go out and buy all that stuff it's just too much money and it's taking money away from me being able to um pick up all my other shit you know what I mean so I'm just I'm just all over the place with all the stuff I have. Like, I still have to complete some of my Star Wars play sets. Um, I got to get other play sets, and I got to complete some of the ones I got. I still got G.I. Joe vehicles, and I believe a play set or two that's missing stuff that I have to, uh, you know, also get along with some, uh, with some of the uh, Micro Master Transformers. I gotta complete some of those and I'm missing others. So, same thing with mask. I need a couple of pieces for my my uh, my boulder heel set. Um, this is my second video doing here. I did one earlier. Um, but yeah, this one again. I'm supposed to be headed. I'm supposed to be headed back up north, but I didn't get it. I didn't get a chance to do that yet. So since I'm already here, it's not gonna kill me to spend another 25 minutes. You know, so fuck it. Uh, the book is beat up. Yeah, so. There's one lady here that I thought would be here, but I just realized that she don't come on Thursdays because I was here. Two weeks ago on a uh, Thursday with my sister, and uh, he was like, she wasn't here. Neither, neither is the uh, the Mexican guy that come with his family, because he had a bin of wrestle of uh, He-Man figures. So right now I'm trying to get a lot of the uh, the vintage. I'm trying to get a lot of the vintage um, He-Man and other stuff. I had one lady earlier this morning. She was like, wow, I always see you here. You always have like a serious face and I always have nice stuff. And, you know, you don't you don't never stop. You don't never stop to say hi or or to uh, <laughs> or to buy for me. Why? And I said, well, to be honest, if I don't know people, I normally don't speak to them. No disrespect to you, miss. And secondly, you know, you don't have stuff or, you know, if you sell stuff that I had that I like. I probably would, but being that you don't, I just keep it moving. And it seemed like when I told her that, it upset her. She said, you know, that's like, that's like really, really sad. And I, I, I just, whatever. I think sometimes some people just having a bad day or they got into an argument with their man or husband or whatever. And they just want to just be miserable people. So they just, I'm one of them. <laughs> and they just say shit, you know, so. I don't know why she said that. And I was I was I was being nice to her. I wasn't being condescending and shit. I was just you know, just speaking my mind. And it's true, you know, normally if I don't know a person, I don't say hi unless you say hello first. I'm mean, not that not that you have to, but I normally don't say nothing to people. You know, and uh 
you know, I do get a lot of people that do look and they like, hey, or, you know, I've had people say, hey, I got this for sale, come look. And I'm like, is it toys? They're like, no. I said, is it comics? They say, no. I said, no, thank you. Now just keep it moving. You know, you got to stick and move in this business. You know, the longer you spend in one place, the larger the chances are of you. Look at these guys over there. Oh my God, that's in the arena. I'm just pushing it out. Yeah, leave it here. No, what no, what do you ask one of the guys over, Chris? Uh, two fifty. It's nice, but it looks like it was. Ooh, somebody glued it back. Jerry's over there, so he must have some shit for him. Him and Matt both. The man that I did a deal with. Ooh, look at that tone of Spider-Man. How much is a Spider-Man? Ooh, look at all that. What are you asking on these guys right here? Oh, they're not for sale yet, man. I'm just trying to get through, make make organized and everything. I got you. I got you. So they they over there being serious. So I wonder if this is a fucking unit that I looked up online. At the end of the day, he's doing great on that. Uh, all them fucking vintage Star Wars, man. That's crazy. She didn't let me hear the end of it. Oh, you know you should surprise her with? Uh, I like that Rebel Rider stitch and thing. That's pretty dope. 75 for that toner. It's not bad. There's a sweater shoe on it, I think, so. Here? Yeah, I think so. I think I did sell one, but I, I, I don't think I've got much for it. That would have been funny to bring it to the Yeah, Alright, let me get moving. Get out of here. Okay. But they, both of them are stuck in their thing, so I ain't gonna bother them. Cause they're doing uh, serious things over there, so. He's probably asking a lot of money for those Star Wars things. But whenever Jerry, Jerry Matt's over there, like that, it's great shit. But he holds stuff uh, specifically for Jerry. Just like this other guy. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I I never knock nobody for that. You know, I'm like, you know, you hold shit for whoever you want. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But then later, how you doing? But then later on, when they don't sell it, they want to be friendly with you to try to sell it, try to, you know, get you to buy it. What do you ask on this guy? Okay. Um, they're hard to come about. You know what I mean? With, especially with this piece back here. All right. Thank you, though. No, that's all right. Thank you. Thank you. It makes me laugh when people say shit like, oh, it's hard to come by. Like, they don't know shit about toys. Everybody go to eBay. Her daughter don't know what she's talking about. She don't know what she's talking about. I thought she was going to say like $5. You know, to my fifth, uh, as low as she'll go is 10 Why would I Why would I buy it for something that I, 
I'd be lucky if I get Tim back off of it. You know, me, I'm the kind of person that I don't argue with people with their prices unless they get disrespectful and then like, oh, well, everybody doesn't, because you get that sometimes. People be like, oh, everybody expects you to give shit away and all that. And that's when I say something. But other than that, it's just not for me. I'm not going to argue or debate with anybody over their prices because at the end of the day, it's your price. But I'm not going to turn around and... People do that. They'll argue with you and get mad because just, you know, because they want it, but they they don't want to pay. You know what I mean? But that dude, Chris, he is expensive. He used to be real cheap, but then a lot of these guys, they open their mouths. Just like in the flea markets, you know, and in that garage sale. Then, they, then people wonder why every year, people, you know, a lot of people become more and more aware of what they're selling and what they're selling shit for. Then they be like, oh, wow, they asking too much. I say, yeah. And then, then, then when I say shit, like, yeah, well, when people got big mouths and they tell people shit, instead of keeping their fucking mouths shut and be happy with what they got, then they come and they complain later. And they just get, they just look at me sideways. And it, it, it's it's stupid. You know, if you get something and it's a good deal, shut the fuck up. You know me? Look, they still over there talking. He's gonna make a deal on that Star Wars stuff because there's a lot of there's a lot of weapons. He got the play sets and shit. He's gonna take all that shit. He'd be a fool not to. They both gonna work it out and you know figure out what they want each. You know, I I don't undercut people, friends or not, friends, acquaintances or not, because I don't I don't like when people do it to me unless that person does it to me. You know what I mean? But normally, I, I just... I normally keep my wits about me when it comes to... Uh, this guy, you know, he got to say hi to you every fucking time he see you. That shit is so annoying. Every time he see you, he want to say fucking hi. This guy's probably expensive. Mario backpacks. There. See, I have a rule. My rule, I hate to sound fucked up, but it's true. You know, you can't you can't be fucked up if you're talking straight facts. Black brothers, especially between the age of 22 to like 60, in flea markets, if they have like collectibles and shit, I normally don't buy from them. They'll be the cheapest motherfuckers. They'll, they're always the cheapest guys to buy from you, but then when they're selling, I call food poisoning from these nasty fuckers here. Never eat here if you're at this flea, if you're at this flea market. They are extremely disgusting and dirty. Anyhow. I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, so yeah, so the Black Brothers, you know, like, I don't buy from them a lot because their price is like, they'll be the guys that they want to pay nothing for shit, but then when they're selling, they want fucking ridiculous. They want eBay or over eBay prices. Like this one lady has something. I think I think I was there. What was it? Uh, it was something. I forgot. Then the other lady, you just heard her with that. Oh well, my daughter said it's fifteen, but I'll do. I'm not doing that. It's not worth it for me. I'm a toy guy. I know what I can get for stuff, and I know what stuff sells for. So I'm not gonna argue with you. If I like, if you got something I really really like. I would make an offer, but if your price is right, extensively r ridiculous, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it moving. Because by me standing there debating with you on your price, or standing there conversating with you, I'm losing out on other shit somewhere else. So, I just prefer not to. Like that tone of Spider-Man, I think I brought one uh, in Columbus, no, in, this is Columbus. In the Meadowlands, 
I think I paid a guy 50 or 50 or something like that dollars for it. And I made, I think I sold it for like 80 bucks. So I made $30 on it. So to pay 75 for this one, just to lose money, doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? And you know, people are a lot more thriftier now in these uh, toy shows. People don't want to pay for shit in these toy shows. And I see Ralph is here. He owes me $10. This fucking guy getting on my nerves, just walking all in front of me and keep looking back like I'm going to rob him and shit. bunch of crap. Hey, Ralph. Ah, I came down. I got, I got to get ready to go pick up a storage unit. You never found that case, right? Fuck. I know. So I guess I can see what I, what I, what I can find. Maybe for the Ghostbuster one in place. Now, but the one that one had a the thing in it. Yeah, nah. Surprised to see you here. Last couple of Sundays and stuff, I, I came. I, you haven't been here. Hasn't been nice. I mean, maybe one nice. It's a lot of yeah, little stuff, but pretty things up. Yeah. 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 What are you up to? Ah, I'm about to get out of here. I gotta, I gotta, you know, head back up home and and go and uh, then I, then, I, then from there I go pick up a truck, then drive all the way to. You always got nice jackets, man. Hmm. You always got nice jackets. Yeah, I try to always match up something, man. Yeah. Oh, is that a good time? How much you asking for the G.I. Joe figures, though? I can do three on all of them. Three dollars each? Oh, I'm talking about how much are they each. I don't, I don't want to buy all of them. They're all not good. One between... 10 to 50 in there. What are you getting on a saw wood? The whole tub or just the uh, figure? <laughs> They're all different. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. What do you ask? Oh, this is missing it. Always missing the tail. How much is that, though? 15. Yeah. Of course, this is empty. It's got the uh, the one in the shelf in it. That's it. Just one? I think there's only one in there. Nah, it's supposed to be two. What's up? Yeah, you're right. It's one. Yeah. We asking on, on this. Twenty-five. Should be twenty, man. Yeah, you probably get it for twenty if you want. <laughs> so I guess if I take it, I will owe you ten then. Damn, my stomach, man. So um, I still got that aisle to walk. I need to help me get the fuck out of here. Oh, 
Power Rangers stuff. Mm -hmm. 60 bucks Nah, I, I don't. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't even buy that stuff no more unless it's the old. It's no nobody wants it. It's a uh, big epic couple bags near the um, Peace Corps British. People don't want them. I do too many toy shows now to see what people buy, what they don't, and I got a whole bunch of stuff. I'm losing money on just selling it just to get rid of it. So I'm really, really picky with what I buy now. Very, very picky. Huh? Gotta be now, cause I, I I'm lose I'm I keep losing money on shit. Stay away from toy shows. I don't think I've ever been to it. Nah, well, no, I, 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 I do I do good on toy shows. Just that people people don't, you know, people are only gonna buy what they need. They're too picky, man. Well, they gotta be picky. If they collect stuff, it's just people are funny, you know. All right, well, I'll catch you later, man. Let me get out of here. I got to go. If anything, we'll work out something later on that. Whatever the fuck that thing was. All right, let me get out of here. I told you. Yeah, I'll come by another one. How much is this? Alright, let me get out of here. Look over here and get out of here. So the thing that the thing that just pissed me off about him is I did forget something, but he didn't remind me, but it's still my fault that I forgot it. But the fact that he he knows, you know, he, at the end of the day he sold that shit. He knows he knows what the fuck he's doing. He's, a, he's, he's kind of a pompous asshole. So if he said he'll do it for 20 for the castle, he should have easily just said, you know what, just give me 10. All right, because he owes me money on the fact that he sold my fucking piece. And yeah, I did forget it, but you know, if you weren't, you know, anybody who's not a scumbag would be like, nah, that belongs to somebody. He just did it and thought I would fucking forget about it. So that did piss me off. I am mad about that shit. And he's like, oh, I'll come across another one another day. He's a fucking piece of work. What are you asking the Sonic? Okay, thanks. All right. See what I was just telling you guys about young black dudes? Told y'all. Oh, wow, look at this. What do you ask on this? That's good. Guarantee you, guarantee you, man. That's guarantee nice. Guarantee you though. on that. Wow. It works perfect, period. Damn. I can't wait to have my witch come in. No. It's pretty dope. Would you do 80 on it? Huh? Do 80? 80, baby. Say it again. 80. There you go. <laughs> trying to figure out how to. Trying to figure out how we get it to my house. This is pretty dope. This thing is like fucking. You know what I mean? Break it down. Just break heavy. it down. What do you mean break it down? I don't know if I can get this to my uh, to my car. This should be able to fit on that without breaking or falling. It's not bad at all. It's a good price for this thing. All right, y'all, I got to go.